CBS News confirms more than two million Americans have been told they cannot renew their current health insurance policies. And that is more than triple the number of people said to be buying insurance under the Affordable Care Act, which the president himself calls Obamacare. Jan Crawford is in Washington. Jan, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Charlie. You know, there have been estimates of hundreds of thousands of people across the country losing their current coverage, but we reached out to insurance companies across the country to find out some real numbers. This is just the tip of the iceberg, and the people who are opening these letters are shocked to learn they can't keep their current policies despite the president's assurances to the contrary. The White House is on the defensive, trying to explain how, when the president repeatedly said this... If you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. He really didn't mean it. What the president said and what everybody said all along is that there are going to be changes brought about by the Affordable Care Act that create minimum standards of coverage. It's an unexpected reality of Obamacare, being told through anecdotes in local papers and on social media. But the hard numbers reveal the evidence is far more than anecdotal. CBS News has confirmed with insurance companies across the country that more than two million people are getting notices they no longer can keep their existing plans. In California, 279,000. In Michigan, 140,000. Florida, 300,000. And in New Jersey, 800,000. And those numbers are certain to go even higher. Some companies tell us they've sent letters, but they won't tell us how many. What we're seeing now is, is the, the reality uh, coming into play. Industry experts like Larry Levitt of the Kaiser Family Foundation say the insurance companies have no choice. Obamacare forces them to drop many of their plans that don't meet the law's 10 minimum standards, including maternity care, emergency visits, mental health treatment, and even pediatric dental care. That means consumers have to sign on to new plans even if they don't want or need the more generous coverage. Industry experts say about half of the people getting these letters will pay more. Half will pay less thanks to taxpayer subsidies. The winners outnumber the losers here, but because of all the website problems, it's really hard to find out who those winners are because they don't even know it themselves. Now, for people who've gotten these letters, that broken website is a real problem. I mean, they don't know what to do. They don't know if they get subsidies. And then there are these other people, Charlie and Nora, who are getting these letters. They have very good insurance, and they're being told they can't keep it. Industry experts we talked to say that for everyone, the best bet is just call your insurance companies to get the information. Thanks, Jen.